moral maze on Mondays. How about that for alliteration, issues of life and death? Literally, actually, in, in uh, some cases. Now, I think only one subject will, will, uh, will dominate because it's quite an interesting one. And Jack Fonseca joins us from Campaign Life, um, who's, who's never been, a, uh, I think, a, a, gay, a gay stripper. Is this fellow a gay stripper? Uh, a stripper? He is, yes. Okay. Uh, a male stripper in the evening. This is a fascinating story because he works for an organization that I think does noble work. But what you tell it, what, what's going on here? This, this, this fellow, is, is, he's really got you very angry, hasn't he? <laughs> well, uh, concern for our children. I mean, uh, uh, this uh, gentleman who goes by the stage name <clears throat> in a sex show performance called uh, uh, Boy Lask, uh, his stage name is Mickey Delicious. Mickey his, Delicious. Mickey Delicious. Mickey Delicious. Real yeah, name is Michael David Loosh. That's right. And uh, so during the day, he works for a charitable organization called Free the Children that speaks many times in Catholic schools and public schools. And people will know it really because of the, uh, the uh, Kill Burgers. We Day, Me to We and, yeah. and We Day. It's but hugely popular. Extremely well known. Uh, oh, tens of yep. thousands and thousands of children each year uh, attend these workshops and these conferences and, and deal with their staff mm. and, uh, and even go away with some of their staff on, on summer camps and trips overseas. They do fine work, surely. They, they do much fine work in, in trying to help alleviate poverty. But uh, what we have with uh, Mickey Delicious is a, a, a manager there at Free the Children who during the day works with children and at night moonlights as a sex show performer. Well, let's have a clip now because we can't tell you where we got this. It's probably on the internet. <laughs> let's have a look. <laughs> And apparently he gets naked. Is that true? He gets absolutely naked? Um, I haven't seen as far to see if he everything comes off, but he oh. does strip for sure. He does strip. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. look, well, if it's just down to his trunks. Well, well there's, there's sex acts in this boy last show. What do you mean show, sex acts? There's, uh, there's, you know, grinding and... Uh, Whatever that and, is. And all kinds of stuff that's really gross. I, I find it quite gross myself, and you probably would too. And, I'm and, sure. it's, and it's certainly inappropriate for children. Well, this is the thing. Look, I, I've thought about this one because... There, there are certainly worse things, but, but if, we, if it is an organization that holds people up to be role models, and to, I think to an extent it's part it of the does, job. Yeah. His job description says to be a role model, a professional role model for staff. So I don't think it's an issue of sexuality. I think it's an issue of, of what is your job, and if, if it is to be a, a stripper. What, but would, would they argue they're not strippers, they're actually just dancers? Is that, would that be uh, their defense? They haven't made that defense yet, but, I mean, you can look at it. It's a pretty perverted sex show. It's... Uh, well, uh, we've got another clip of, of men getting naked, but the... the, the well, I want to show another clip here sure. because, uh, and again, it's, there are far worse things out there, but that's not the point, and we'll get to more of this a bit later. Let's see the, the clip of, the, of not him, but of the other people involved. I'm sorry, getting into that. Uh, the, the cabaret from Hitler was intriguing. Um, also, what, he takes he, off his shirt and he has swastikas on his nipples. He, yeah, he, I didn't know Hitler had those. <laughs> it, 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 it's vulgar, it's crass, it, it, it's wrong. You're not implying in any way, though, that this young man has done something criminal. No, not at all. What I'm saying is that uh, uh, an organization, a charity that works with children and has their staff working with children should have a higher standard for its employees and in, in, in its hiring practice. Uh, you know, for example, uh, everyone would say, especially most moms, that it's uh, grossly inappropriate to have, let's say, uh, uh, a male performer in porn films working moms, for free I the think children. Everyone would do that, but, it, but he's not doing and, that. And he? this is a type of pornography. I mean, it's, it's grossly inappropriate. There should be higher standards for people who work with children. Sex shows ain't it. You know what people are going to say. People watching will say, oh, that's rich, coming from a, from a, a conservative Catholic. 
and I know that, that that wouldn't be my response, but they'll say that after all of the abuse and, 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 and this guy's doing wonderful work he's, and all he's doing is having a good time in the evening. And what, what, you know, what, why are they going after him? What mom wants... Uh, oh, you keep saying mom. What all people. Mom, what mom, what just moms. Mom. No, I mean, these are I'm kids. A dad. There's parents who are concerned. They have stake, a vested interest in the education and who the school brings in to speak to their children and to spend time with their children, mm. maybe even lead a summer camp with their children. And, uh, and the average mom would not want a sex show performer to have any influence with their children. Is he effective at what he does? does he, I have no idea. Does he help the kids to understand what it's like to, to be a child in the third world? Do they help raise money? Do they mobilize children to be active in trying to make the world a better place? I don't know. He's got a degree in sexuality studies, at, I think, at York University. Does he really? Uh, yeah, he connects, it was socialist studies. He it connects sexual his, uh, his uh, sex show performance, his boylesque performance to social justice. So he sees it as part of the same thing. It's, it's what he says. Uh, led him to work f at Free the Children. Mm. Um, so uh, this is grossly inappropriate. How many people work in, in this organization? I'm not certain. Is it quite big? It's quite large. I mean, yeah. they get a lot of money. I mean, and they get thousands of Catholic students office, and public school yeah. students uh, uh, attend their, their events. I suppose in that I think the organization does good work. Of all the people who could work for it, it does seem a bit strange they would have someone who, and he can do whatever he wants. It's not my business. But that he, if, he, if he does this... Um, in the evening and tries to link it to his work in the daytime. It, it, it seems jarring and, and wrong. Has the organization got back to you? Because you've made this public. Um, well, uh, LifeSiteNews.com reported the story. Uh, uh, they contacted Scott Baker, I believe is the person's name, a spokesperson for the Free the Children, yeah. and they, they defended Mickey Delicious. They said, we don't uh, judge the personal lives of our employees, which I think is a grossly inappropriate response. Uh, you must have, when it comes to the safety of our children, and having uh, a positive role, proper role models for children, yeah. a sex show performer is not appropriate. But little time left. I, I want to be quite direct with you. Is this a campaign against the organization? Uh, no, it's not a campaign against the organization, although we have said before, because this organization is understood in, in the Catholic school community as a Catholic organization, it's not officially, but that's the way Catholic schools see it, mm. and they, br they bus thousands of students to yeah, these events. Yeah. But they, this have, organization, they have sort of uh, conference centers, they, don't they, they in the yeah. stadia and things. Oh, yeah, meet a wee days, wee days, and uh, they've got other baggage. They've admitted that in their uh, one of their health centers, at least in Africa, they distribute contraceptives, birth control, uh, which is totally against Catholic teaching. They, uh, the organization had to retract some official position papers mm. uh, that promoted abortion, that defended uh, abortion and, and the funding of abortion. Well, and later the organization denied it and blamed it on some interns. I'm more than happy to have uh, uh, one of the Kilbergers uh, on the show or someone else in the organization to, to give their side of the story because I think sure. it does do good work. And I'd, I'd hate to see it uh, damaged because of this. But I think even, even the most progressive, permissive person would say there's a Something is not quite right Especially here. in the Catholic school environment. And I, I didn't yeah. urge concerned Catholic leaders and parents to contact the school trustee. I would say, I would say outside the Catholic school, school environment as well. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.